In this video I'm going to show you how you can import a chord sheet from a PDF file. There's lots of chord sheets available in PDF format. You can get them from CDs from various publishers and there's also some sites on the internet you can download PDF versions of chord sheets. To add a new chord sheet then we just go to New Song and we make sure we select Chord Sheet from here and then we click on the button that says Import Text or PDF. I'm going to browse to where I've got my song sheets and then here I've actually got a book of PDFs and it's uh, in here so I'll just double click on that and it's loaded in the book of PDF chord sheets. The song I want to put in is the first song here which is called Above All. Here we see a preview of the PDF in the centre so what you do is you draw a box around the part you want to import. I don't want to take in the, the chord shapes up the top here and the other information down the bottom. I just want to do this. So once I've selected it, I click on the Extract Text button. And that extracts the text from the PDF in here. Now it's interesting to note that this is a proportionally spaced font and this is a mono spaced font which is used in Power Music. But it's quite successfully moved the position of the chords above the words and kept most of them pretty well in the right place. You can always do a little bit of editing here, so for instance I think I'd like to space this out a bit more, so I'll put a blank line in there and I'll put a blank line in there and I'll just look through to check to make sure that all of the chords are roughly the right place. If I need to do any editing I can compare the PDF here and the extracted text here, but I'm happy with that the way it is, so I'm going to return to the song editor. You'll notice that the intelligent chord detection has worked and it's picked up all the chord lines except for this one here. And you'll notice the reason is there's no space between this chord, E slash D, and this chord here. So all we do is click in there and put a space in. And now if we parse it, it converts that into a proper chord line. What we need to do now is to tell Power Music what key this is in, this A major. So I'll do that. And also we have to set a capo key. Now C is not a sensible capo key for this. A sensible capo key would be G. So we'll go to a capo key of G. If we don't set the key correctly here, then the transpose will not work when you come to transpose it to another key. So it's really important that you put in the key of the chord sheet. Let's do a preview of it now. And I think this would actually look better in two columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a page break in before the chorus. So I go back here, I click in there and I click on the page break to insert a page break. I tell it now I want two pages per screen of the chord sheet and let's preview it again. I think that looks just a bit perfect. Yep, quite happy with that. So now I need to give it some information. I'll give it a title, that's the minimum you have to do is give it a title. So I'll click on title and say add a title and the song is called Above All. I can give it as many more titles as I want. I can also put in the first line and I should put in the copyright information because this is a copyright song. I've taken it from a book of copyright chord sheets so I should add in there the copyright information. There's other information you can add in here including the CCLI numbers, authors, categories and libraries and so on and if you look at the overview of the song editor you'll see how to do all of that. I'm just going to save this now and there we have the chord sheet put in. The thing is that it's gone from being a static PDF document into a transposable dynamic document where we can now actually transpose this into another key. So let's just see how we could transpose it. It's currently in A. Let's put it into G and there we have it in G. Power Music takes a PDF document and turns it into a transposable chord sheet.